Awesome. Coach, uh, big time performance from Dustin out there. Um, my question is, you know, if you look at his uh, two seasons before this one, high of, of four strikeouts. Now he's going eight, nine, 14. What, what was the, the, the difference from last season to this season or the last two seasons that really honed in on, on his ability to punch guys out himself? You know, I've been asked that quite a bit here the, the first month of the season. And, you know, Dustin's the same pitcher he's always been. He's, he's just really grown up and matured and is owning a routine. And he's very consistent in his, his actions each and every day as far as his preparation going into each week. And that's the difference. I mean, he, he is – his stuff is the same, certainly. You know, he, he's more comfortable on the mound and in this environment and just by being here. But he's just grown up. And – you know, he's the same talent he was as a freshman. He's just made a decision to be on a mission of excellence in everything that he does on and off the field and, you know, certainly in his routine here each week. Today with, in particular with this game, what um, what was working for him the best and what did you see out of him in this performance? Well, much like last week, I mean, he had a great fastball slider mix going. He was able to get the fastball to the glove side and, Use the change up effectively the second time through, especially early in the count to back those right handers had right handed hitters off the fastball and then get to the fastball in and slider to finish him. I mean, he was outstanding through eight and um, just couldn't have asked for better. Probably the most important inning for him was the second inning. First and third one out, and they had a chance to grab the early momentum and, and he punches two guys out to get off the field. We come in and immediately score and tack on again in third and I just don't think the score is indicative of how close that game was. It was a Friday night fight, and we certainly won the fourth quarter, scored in the sixth, seventh, and eighth to put the game away. The number of strikeouts that y'all put up as a program, not only this year but years past, is that indicative of the pitching philosophy of the program, or is that just strictly the, the, the talent that you bring in here? I think it's the, it's the talent, and you know, Coach Seeley does such a great job identifying guys that fit what we want to do and how we want to go about our business on the mound. and. To me, Coach Seeley gets all the credit for that. And then how important was it? Uh, Strickland had a really great start for them today. How important was it? How much of the game plan was uh, eat up pitches, get to the bullpen? Because once you got to the bullpen, it, it floodgates open. That was huge. I mean, he had a great start two weeks ago against Florida, and he's certainly talented, low to mid-90s with a really good slider and feel for his change. And we did take a lot of pitches from him in, in the first three innings, and he kind of got the reset button. He had single-digit uh, pitches in the in the fourth inning, but and then he was about to get through a quick fifth, and just like that, uh, we had two guys take ten pitches from him with two outs. I know we didn't come away with anything at that point, but we took an extra ten pitches from him when he was about to go single digits again in that inning. Thanks, coach. Uh, coach Dustin was sitting at 101 pitches after the seventh inning. What was the conversation with him and? What ultimately led to deciding to allow him to return for the eighth? Just where we were in the lineup. They had the lefts coming up. It was it was eight nine one, the, the right left switch. And rather than burn a left hander in the bullpen for that inning, we really wanted to let him go back out. He was done. When the two old hitter came to the plate, they pinch hit. They went left handed, so that was his last hitter, and he got the lefty to get off the field there. Awesome. Bose had himself a nice night, two home runs, and then he also had a single for another RBI there late. What did you see from him at the plate, and how much has he proved to you that he deserves to be in the middle of that order? Well, he's proven an awful lot. I, I mean, for the, about the last six games, he has been on the barrel. I know he's hit into some tough luck, but certainly it's coming back to him. But he's been on the barrel for the last six or seven games and having good at-bats, and, you know, we got paid back tonight and, and hit some balls on the barrel, and a couple of got out of the yard and a big hit late just to kind of put the game away. And then with the doubleheader tomorrow, uh, how crucial was it for you to get a great uh, deep start from Dustin Sines just to save the bullpen for what should be a long day tomorrow? Yeah, it just puts us in a great position. We, we didn't have to use Jaws or, or Mo in long relief today. We've got both those guys available. We've got Al and, and Moo there at the end of the game. And so we're in a good spot. And, and certainly we're going to have to have two great starts. And But we are in a, in a very good place in our bullpen. And, the same with Sanford. I know they went to one of their guys early, but they've got two left-handers down there that they're going to want to use tomorrow that have been really, really good for them out of the bullpen. So I expect a fight. I mean, uh, Casey does a great job. His kids compete hard, and I'm certain they'll be ready to get after it tomorrow. Thank you, Coach.
All right. Thanks and giggle. Yep.